This is Demaya and she is 14 years old. Five feet tall, 110 pounds, brown hair, brown eyes. Uh, deputies say that the teen's parents are cooperating with investigators, though she lives with her grandmother in Old Town. Now, the teen's grandmother is the person who made the call to report her missing. Deputies say Demia was not attending school. Today, deputies were searching in between the Old Town Church of God, east towards the Suwannee River. This area that we're searching today was the last known um, whereabouts where Miss Appling was, and coupled with uh, the last known place she used her cell phone is going to be from this area for where we're standing back toward the uh, Suwannee River. Deputies say the family waited a week before they reported her missing on October 16th. The sheriff said he's unsure why the family didn't come forward sooner. Again, now deputies say there's no indication that Demia ran away and they were, excuse me, they're worried about her safety. Now, um, she was last seen wearing a white shirt, blue jeans, and a black jacket. Live in Cross City, Cameron Lund, TV 20 News. Last seen near the Church of God in Old Town, that's 72 Southeast. 918th Street. Dixie County deputies searched the area and went towards the Suwannee River on Tuesday morning, November 1st. And it's been more than two weeks since Tamaya Appling was last seen. TV 20's Cameron Lund joins us live from their neighborhood in Old Town. Cameron, what's the grandma saying about Tamaya's disappearance? Yeah, Deborah Appling says that the teen's demeanor and even actions were getting more and more uncontrollable over the last few months. Now, Deborah has had custody of Demaya since she was three years old. The teen had recently stopped going to school at Dixie County High. Deborah says the teen has been hanging out with others in the neighborhood who were also kicked out of school. She, she's been out of control. She's been running in the neighborhood with her friends. And if you try talking to her, she gets very obstinate. But I, I want her home. And the troubles haven't stopped with Demaya's disappearance. Deborah says she even crashed her car while handing out flyers across the town. Dixie County deputies say they have yet to set up another search location like the one at the Old Town Church of God, which is again in the neighborhood that was deployed yesterday. Again, the teen was last seen wearing a white shirt, blue jeans, and a black zip-up jacket. Anyone with any information about her disappearance is asked to contact the Dixie County Sheriff's Office. She's been missing since October 16th. Nobody reported her missing for an entire week. That is her mother that she's in photos with occasionally, but her grandmother has had custody of her since she was three years old. Again, the deputies have been searching, but they have broadened the area to include uh, the area north of Highway 19 and west of State Road 349, south of Spillers Highway. The clothing description did change from the original information to navy blue Nikes. Uh, they're the slides like the flip-flop type deals. Um, white striped SpongeBob SquarePants shorts and a black t-shirt gold necklace with a heart-shaped charm. She did have her cell phone, but either it's dead or she is not answering it. It's none of your dang business, kid. My mom, there's no one else quite like my mom.